Hello friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Steve Explains the Stuff. Last week, we went over Intel processors and their names, basic functions, to help demystify the Intel processors. This week, we're gonna focus on the AMD Ryzen lineup, explain what the Team Red has in store for you PC builders. AMD has a pretty strong lineup for consumer level processors. The AMD Ryzen 3, the AMD Ryzen 5, the AMD Ryzen 7, and the big boy, AMD Ryzen Threadripper. All these segments are unique with their core count and functions. So, without further delay, let's dive in and see what this all means. All right, so first off, let's decode the name of the processor first. We're gonna use the Ryzen 3 2200G processor as our example to help spell out all these alpha Gettys. So, Ryzen is the brand, pretty easy to follow, as it's AMD Ryzen. Next to decode is the three. This is a segment. This lets us know what type of user may want to use this for the task they're trying to accomplish. AMD has identified three core customer types for each of their segments. Three, more the mainstream user. Five is for high performance, and seven is your enthusiast. The 22 and the 2200 is our performance level. This will indicate what to expect out of the processor. In this case, the 22, we know this to be on the mainstream level. 4, 5, 6 for high performance, and 7, 8, well, those would fall under enthusiast grade. Pretty easy so far? All right, next, we have the model number. In this case being the 00. This lets us know the SKU and if it has any additional speed. Much like Intel naming, we have the suffix at the end to let us know the power or difference between clock speeds within a series. For example, we may see anything of the following, G, X, W, X, or no suffix for a regular old desktop processor. Okay friends, next we're gonna walk you through what the suffixes mean for your new Andy processor. You know some plain old processors with no suffix? This simply tells us that this is a standard processor. We'll start with the Ryzen 3 2200G for our next example. The G is to indicate the power feature of the processor. G essentially tells us there's the Radeon Vega graphics built in. Next, you know some of these processors also come with the X power suffix, much like the Ryzen 5 1600X, the Ryzen 7 2700X, or the Ryzen Threadripper 2920X. The X, like X-Force, tells us it's a high performance processor with XFR. This is extended Frequency range. XFR is AMD's automated overclocking feature, which allows the user to take the processor beyond the advertised turbo frequency. The results will vary depend on your cooling solution. Whenever I hear beyond, I think of Dragon Ball Z, like you got push beyond, and you're like Goku screaming going to Super Saiyan. Last, but the opposite of least, there is the WX series of the Threadripper chips. WX is a suffix designation applied to AMD workstation grade components typically utilized in the server and rendering roles. These things are built for power and purpose. And while they can be used for gaming, the price jump is probably best spent on a better video card and your monitor for the enhancement of your gaming experience. So now that we understand how this all breaks down, naming wise, and we understand what you're looking at, let's check out the different types of processors. Much like Intel naming scheme, there's no rule behind how, when, or what you use each processor for, simply with the extreme flexibility of the new AM4 motherboards. Choosing a new Ryzen processor follows the same principles we previously discussed in our last Intel video. Comes down to A, what do you wanna do with it? And B, what are your expectations in terms of speed? Let's say you're building a basic home computer or getting to the beginnings of gaming, or better yet, you don't see yourself doing much more than a simple few tasks like using spreadsheets or some Google Doc processes, some like YouTube to check out those three-year-old dead fine comps. These, you'd be looking more towards the Ryzen 3 series of processors, geared towards mainstream PC users. With the built-in Vega and four cores for processing, you're well on your way to be able to do managed tasks and games like Dusk and other lower requirement graphic games like League of Legends, Dota, and Forknife. Now let's say you have a bit more coins towards that processor budget and you wanna add a bit more zest. Those are imaginary lemons. So you're juggling some more tasks like multiple tabs, open with sweet memes and Twitch streams. 
and to be a true epic gamer by dividing your heated battlefield of Quake Champions, Plops 4, or Fallout 76, you would be looking more towards the Ryzen 5 lineup of processors, which are geared towards high performance users. They come equipped with four to six cores and up to 12 processing threads. What this means for you is more tasks, more efficiently. This processor is also more geared towards the graphic designer and artist, as the multiple cores will make it easier for those fancy art programs and a drawing tablet like a Cintiq. This is gonna be a nice expressway to draw. So express yourself artistically with the Sonic fan art given the new movie poster. Let your imagination flow like a Hollywood movie budget. Now, let's say your gaming budget is not even a question and you're ready to experience top tier gaming. We're talking serious PC gaming, or maybe you're an enthusiast builder, content creator, you might be streaming on Mixer, Twitch, or YouTube. The Ryzen 7 series of processors is for you. It's packed with eight cores and 16 processing threads. This is where you wanna be for high performance gaming, extreme multitasking, and live streaming. These processors are geared towards the enthusiast. Lastly, the big guns, the absolute unit of a processor, the Threadripper. You'll be ripping through multitasking like a hot knife through room temperature butter. Yum. So if you're a 3D artist, BAM! There goes the rendering. Maybe you're using it for a top tier streaming rig. BAM! There goes the content creation. Studios, you name it! With 32 possible cores and up to 64 processing threads, the Threadripper is the end all, be all for the AMD side of consumer processors. And that's the end of our journey, our processor journey. Now, you're all professors. Here's your PhD. I'm so proud you came this far. So guys, don't forget about MEXP. You know the drill. Comment, like the video, share with your dog, your neighbor Louie. Get the videos out there. You guys know how it works. Comments, you guys are gonna win this month a wicked prize from our friends at Corsair, an M65 Pro and an HS50 gaming headset. You guys know where to follow us on social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express. Our Instagram is official Memory Express. Of course, guys, this is Steve from Memory Express. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. My back. <laughs> oh my God. Just lay.